in the 24 hours, I, I think I drank four liters of uh, of soda. So it's uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, that's. Much. I had to wake up. I woke up four times in one night to go to the bathroom. Yeah. Welcome, Kalle, to Confession Portraits. You are a health coach, is that correct? Is that what you would call yourself? Yeah, well, I'm a health coach, health consultant, and teacher, uh, I, would, I would say. Yeah. In many of those roles, yeah. So what does that entail, to be a health well, coach? Well, I, well, I, um, it, it entails a lot of things. We, we try basically we do a lot of things to help people regain their health through uh, changing their lifestyle and food habits so that's what we do and as many people in um, in health i also have a personal background with a uh, crashed personal health so that's how i got into it uh, many years ago so that's what and, that, so that's how you got into it yeah, from a personal, I, I was very motivated myself to, to regain my own health. I, I became uh, chronically ill when I was in my 20s. And in what so, way? What happened? Um, uh, it's an auto, uh, I got an autoimmune disease after a stomach infection. I traveled right. to Turkey when I was 20. And uh, after that, I got uh, IBS. So we call it okay. irritable bowel syndrome. Yeah. And... Uh, a lot of uh, strange things started to happen with my immune system. So uh, basically my, my knees, uh, they swell up and I couldn't walk anymore for over a year. And um, during more than a decade, I had to use strong anti-inflammatory drugs to control the symptoms of inflammation in different parts of the body. And, uh, and you didn't know where, I, it, where it came from? Well, it was a... Um, Two different bacterial strains that are very, some of them are known, salmonella is well known. That's what I, one of the things I got. But I also got another bacteria that is called Yashinia. And um, that's, it's related to the plague bacteria. And um, so that's what, what got my, um, my uh, inflammation symptoms started. And it was through lifestyle and especially food that I regained my own health and uh, through the process I uh, educated myself on the topic of course uh, and during the last 15 years I've been helping others do the same thing that I did. So what did you do? What, what did you change? Well I changed a lot of things. Uh, my uh, uh, everything from what kinds of foods that I eat, uh, what kind of exercise I do, uh, light exposure, um, sauna exposure, a lot of things. I, I did a lot of things to, to regain my health. But the, the most important things was uh, food, food habits, and the selection of foods that I sort of individualized my food, um, that my, that my diet to uh, fit what my body needed to, to diminish inflammation. All right, so you... You did some kind of a exploration or a ex examination of your own health to to uh, to yeah, see what worked. Yeah, I work did or... a basic um, elimination diet, uh, starting out with a sort of a, a paleo template and uh, what's uh, now called autoimmune paleo. Paleo. It wasn't called that in those days, but um, but now it's sort of an international movement, and many people are try, uh, trying out these diets to control symptoms of inflammation and autoimmune disease of every every kind all right is that what you still use that well i use sort of a system to individ uh, individualize the diet so people differ in what makes them um, individuals differ a lot in what makes them the best um, mm -hmm. and some people have to restrict more some people had to have to add supplements of different kinds depending yeah. on uh, nutrient deficiencies and that uh, and those kinds of things, but so the the solution can look a lot different for even the same diagnosis. Okay. So two people with IBS can have uh, two completely different diets, actually. That, that okay. solves their problems. 
All right. So that's so you do. If I understand it correctly, you do with your clients what you did with yourself. You examine their health and what works for them. And uh, how how does that process? How do you do that? Well, the the process uh, involves um, elimination steps and a lot of nowadays there are so many uh, tools available. Uh, testing testing is available now, and so the process uh, looks a lot like doing some testing doing a lot of deep analysis through questionnaires and uh, in most cases doing elimination diets and doing a lot of trial and error. And um, yeah, there, there are different sort of experiments one can do to uh, find out what the prob underlying pro problem is. And sometimes it's gut flora. There are many different tools to, for that. Uh, fiber is another area, probiotics is another area. So there are many different areas to work within to reach the maximum result. Um, are there any... To, no, excuse me, continue. Yeah, and to reach the maximum result, you often need to address many, uh, several areas of um, uh, origins for inflama inflammation. So are there any sp common areas that are specifically prevalent in their in people's health? Well, many people experience uh, worsening of symptoms um, when they have uh, reactions to certain foods. That is a big area. And uh, in some cases, people also have infections and what lingers after infections is usually a, an altered microbiome that is not functional anymore. And to address it, uh, people have to, um, in many cases, the basic tools are elima elimination of, of uh, foods that are uh, triggering. So what, and exactly, what are triggering? What, what, is, what, um, what are most common to start to, to eliminate? The most common um, problems are um, certain allergens that are present in the modern diet. Um, some of the most uh, common are uh, uh, the grains, the grain uh, intolerances, and um, also dairy intolerance, and uh, nuts is pretty common, nightshades. Those kinds of foods are pretty common. We experiment with those. And um, another big area is uh, dealing with a microbiome that is altered and an overactive immune system that results from that. Um, How, so it becomes well, pretty technical now. Yeah, but it, that it, sounds it, difficult. <laughs> I didn't, <laughs> you, don't, you work with, uh, you, uh, the, the tools are food habit and food patterns, yeah. food pattern changes, and uh, uses of uh, sometimes supplements and um, also probiotic foods. So okay. there are many, and, and other supplements as well. But... Um, so there are many uh, things that can uh, contribute to altering the microbiome in a, in a favorable um, in a favorable manner. So if if someone would um, meet you in the bottom floor on the building and you get a elevator pitch, a really easy elevator pitch, he the person has problem with the food. What what would be the simple explanation? What what he would try? But the first first thing to try for maybe a couple of weeks would be a paleo diet. That is a diet that is free from processed foods and um, it's also free from most of the common allergens. So it addresses the most common problems that people have and uh, most people will feel will feel the dis difference if they if they try a paleo diet for two or three weeks they will feel a lot better. And um, yeah. that, so that, that's an experiment. And if one feels better from that diet, we can do uh, modifications from that point. And if not, there are other, uh, you sort of take the, the investigation in another direction. All right. But uh, so, so it, it all provides information doing elimination diets of these kinds. So, all mm -hmm. right. So, so yeah. you work uh, as a coach together. Do you have a do you have a company? What, what's yeah? Um, we have a family company. My, me and my wife uh, have the company together, and we've um, for many years now. We do online education. We write books. We have a podcast. We 
um, write on a blog, we have a newsletter, and those kinds of things that are usually involved in a uh, uh, in a health company of this kind. And so, um, yeah, that, that's what we do uh, every day, so to speak. All right. So that's kind of, um, and you're, you are working in, uh, in Sweden, is that right? Mm -hmm. You're in not Sweden. in Sweden right now, but you, but because you usually have a great video, like you have a setup uh, because you have podcasts and, uh, and have, have a great studio, but now you're abroad and we have a little web camera. Yeah. Uh, um, I'm just saying it because I'm painting you and, uh, it, uh, the the result might uh, be affected by the little less good lighting. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. we have we'll the, make it work. The granular. Uh, uh, yeah, we got the granular. Yeah. <laughs> Look, um, well, yeah, but it's okay. Uh, yeah, we, so the, but you work um, for Sweden, I'm anyway. Phone connection. And yeah, I work from Sweden usually, but now we're in uh, Tenerife uh, right. over the winter months. Uh, yeah, uh, a health? it's a uh, it's a health sort of a health thing? trip. It is right. <laughs> it's a health trip. Okay, um, get the sun. Yeah, it means uh, a lot to get some uh, uh, light and sun uh, during. It. I think everyone who, who's been to Sweden for one of uh, one or two winters will will agree. Yeah, I know. All right, so let's get to the main thing here. What's yeah. your confession? Well, my confession is, um, I w well, it's, uh, it's connected to, to, to my work, I would say, because I've, uh, as I mentioned, I have a personal experience from, the, from the, the diet being very important for my healing process. And um, so, so I'm very aware of uh, the, the symptoms that the diet can cause. And still, I have to keep a very strict diet to control my symptoms. That's uh, uh -huh. something I've been doing for the last... Um, 15 to 20 years now. So, um, and keeping a strict diet for a long time uh, is pretty difficult in the modern environment. I would say that we have a sort of a, a hostile food environment that we have to deal with <laughs> <All right>. in, <laughs> in our personal lives, uh, uh, going out on, 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 town, uh, on the street, in the stores, when we're out uh, visiting friends, we are uh, constantly exposed to foods that will trigger and make uh, symptoms of chronic disease worse. So, so all kind of modern that's uh, what I deal with. Food? So my confession is that, well, many, I, I try to be a role model in many ways, and I, I would say that I am in most cases. But uh, at the same time, I don't want to uh, give the impression that I don't um, have the same problems as everyone, because having uh, to apply a strict diet over a long time is very, very difficult. And I also get um, tempted by the food environment that I'm in. Sure. So during the autumn, I had a lot of problems with sweet cravings. And yeah. uh, previous years, I've, uh, I, uh, it, the, my habits have sort of gotten worse and over the Christmas and holidays, especially. And um, one year, I, I just ate a whole box of um, ice chocolate. Uh, made from coconut and and I, it was pretty it was it's good kind of but it was kind just of too much. healthy but too much all right yeah if, and if you eat stuff like that if i eat stuff like that i my symptoms get worse so this year i sort of went overboard using uh, artificial sweeteners instead and uh, so I, uh, I ended up in the store and buying eight liters of um, uh, sweetened uh, soda um so, <laughs> and okay. um so that's been a problem and i uh, how much did you drink it, during a day well i i think i drank uh, four liters in a day and i retained so much water and got a, such a bad headache then the next day i had to bring all the bottles back to the store and they were kind enough to, re <laughs> to <laughs> I, I couldn't bring myself to throw it away the day after but um, okay. So they they took it back, and uh, so some other poor soul has to uh, will buy that now. So you um, are human. You <laughs> you seem very human. It sounds like the most of us, at least me. I have problem with uh, yeah. with staying away <laughs> from the bad habits. Yeah, you also have the with, with sweets. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's hard with the sweets. Yes, <clears throat> it is hard, and. Um, 
I think especially when one keeps a, a clean diet, it becomes especially hard then because then you restrict yourself from these um, so-called bad foods. Yeah. Uh, and when you go overboard in those cases, I, I've noticed that a lot of people report uh, binge binging on yeah. sweets. When you go overboard a little bit, it can spiral downwards yeah, very I quickly. Can do that. So, and uh, so that's a problem. And yeah, I'm yeah. How can I you address uh, that? Because it's very, very much a behavioral thing. And uh, so you're talking about it that uh, the, uh, the our environment, our our modern environment, gives so much temptations and uh, lead us astray. So if if that wasn't a, uh, such a problem in the in the old days in our history, then we well, have a bigger problem ourselves we have to really handle those those cravings uh, and uh, it must be much harder for us yeah compared it is. To, to to i think our yeah, binge eating is actually a built-in feature of the human uh, brain yeah if you observe uh, uh hunter gatherers living wild in the wild environment they often binge eat when they get if they get something sweet or if they get something fatty, uh, fatty foods and sweet foods, they will uh, oftentimes binge on that food. So it seems to be a normal, healthy reaction to having a lot of available <clears throat> calories. Yeah. I think the problem is that we have those calories available to us 24-7. Yeah, it's difficult. How? Because we don't want to go on a diet all the time. It's, uh, it's really boring to go on a diet in heart. And as you say, you, it's really hard to, to keep it up. So what's... Uh, you hear some people say that no, you you can't. It's it's not a diet. You know, just have to change the way you're. It's to to be yeah. in order to have it lasting. Yeah. It can't be like considered as a diet. You need to have find a new way of new lifestyle in some sort. Is that how we should? Yeah, think well, about that, it? that is definitely true. Um, and it's almost a cliche. I know many people have said it before that uh, what's needed is a is a lifestyle change. Yeah, sure. Uh, so people, and still people don't uh, really get that, they, I, and I believe that they don't want to get it. Uh, people want to go on diets, they want to lose the kilos, they don't want to realize that what is needed to change your health and your body composition and losing weight, all of those things are, are achieved over time doing things differently when it comes to food. So habits is everything. But, and um, mm. People go on diets and they often do this. Um, for instance, the, the, the fasting trend that is going on right now, um, doing five two diet, the five two diet, for instance, when you fast for two days and then are fine for five days. Mm. I think that is, a, that is a symptom of our time that we, we try to negotiate, we try to negotiate the rules of living in this society. Sure. Uh, and try to live in, uh, I think it's, Basically, what I'm very critical to it, uh, uh, towards it, I don't, I don't believe it, it's a long-term solution to this problem because people quit the 5-2 diets. It's just a question of time. And when they do, they return to their old habits. So they introduce a new habit, doing the 5-2 diet, but people sticking to it is one in a hundred, maybe one in a thousand. So what works? What, what actually works is, well, many diets can work, but, but what is needed is to... to uh, when you do a diet change, you have to accept that these are the new rules now. This is what we're doing now. From now on, and in five years and in ten years, these are the foods that I eat or the restrictions that I apply. And you can apply another restrictions. For some, some people, doing fasting is more feasible, it's easier. And for those people, it may be a good idea. But you have to choose the restriction that you can do in a uh, in one decade and two decades. So the paleo diet, I believe, is one of the best templates to do this because uh, the diet is um, is very tasty and it's um, uh, it's nutrient rich. So you can do it over the long haul, and you can uh, do a lot of recipes in it. Um, it's it's very available, but it's not the only way. There are many different kinds of restrictions. Yeah. So people can do time restriction, that is uh, different kinds of fasting. They can uh, do macronutrient restriction, like um, low fat or low carb, or they can do 
quality restrictions. That is only choosing a set of foods that uh, reaches a quality standard that is acceptable. And that's what the yeah. paleo diet is about. All right. And so, but accepting that you have to make a qualitative change to your diet over the long haul or a restriction long yeah. uh, over the long haul that's what people are struggling with in many cases but and, isn't it because yeah. you know i uh, i i guess that a lot of these problems that arise from bad habits in what you eat they result in problems that you don't see until late in your life uh, probably some of them you see directly you see that you're getting fatter you see that you you, yeah. you get some kind of uh, yeah. downsides but but the real big things, if you get cancer, if you get uh, diabetes or some kind of bad, bad um, disease from, that is caused from your way of living, it's too far away and uh, it's, it's easy to not yeah. see it as, a, as uh, to connect it to what you eat directly. So you can just, um, you can, uh, you probably will trade a little with those uh with the, the downsides with um with the benefits that you gain so i I, yeah. I know i have that devil on my shoulder all the time uh, like whispering a sweet uh, sweet uh yeah whispering about sweets <laughs> yeah no, i think I, I believe every everyone uh is dealing with that to some extent some people are dealing with it better than others they don't yeah. have such a such a loud devil on their shoulders uh, but Many people do, and as you say, it's easy to, to, to sort of sweep the problem under the rug. Um, and, but I think in most cases, uh, people can see their health deteriorating, and it's uh, something that we cognitively try to push to the side. But um, it's not a secret to, people will tell you, you, you know, in, on, on some level, you always know that your health isn't what it could be. They're just it's, deceiving um, themselves there. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of self deception going on, and the human brain is fantastic doing mm. the self deception. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, but it, but it's a, it, as you say that that is a fact of life that we had to deal with the problems. What we we create the problems over decades. Yeah. And um, but usually the problems are incremental. You can see the signs before you get. Uh, it's not like um, you wake up one day with a heart attack. You probably in most cases. You know about your uh, uh, about your uh, waist size and your blood pressure and the and the blood lipids yeah. beforehand. Before uh, mo in most cases, uh, but um, yeah, people people want to live lives that are unrestricted and and yeah. enjoy life. So <clears throat> what I try to teach people is that life can be even more enjoyable uh, within some restraints too. Yeah, sure. So uh, applying restraints can be the, the key to both freedom and good health, I believe. So that's what, what we try to teach, that, that uh, working with our health is uh, something that's been known to increase um, life quality for thousands of years. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the Stoics even said it. Uh, the, 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 there's a Stoic saying that it, it, it's a word called uh, arete. Uh, or uh, I don't know how to pronounce it exactly. All right, in English, you don't know your it's Greek. A, uh, it's fr <laughs> from Greek, and it's uh, uh, the the word means to to um, to apply our will to to fine tune and um, reach excellence in an area. It can be uh, working on your health. It, it can also be moral and uh, physical growth, so so to speak. So so it's. Uh, excellence in those areas. It can be something that uh, we work on through our lives, and that gives our lives also meaning. Yeah, sure. And uh, and um, I believe that a free life that people want a free life, but what they really end up with is a lot of um, inactivity and and um, so it's it's a it's an open air prison. Uh, eating all the fast food yeah, will sure. make you slow. <clears throat> will make you not be able to do. Uh, all those fun stuffs when, when when the pension years arrive yeah. you won't be able to play with the grandkids anymore right, sure. or uh, do or travel do what you want so people deceive themselves they want to live freely now 
but they trade in their freedom in future yeah. for uh, for yeah, short term sure. goals. Yeah. Sure. So now, okay. when you have unburdened yourself, <laughs> how do you feel? Yeah. Yeah, well, it feels feels good to uh, yeah to to um, admit that I also um, is, uh, lose out to the modern environment sometimes, and that I and that this struggle is something that we all share in this in this modern world. I I believe. Yeah. yeah. Everyone who wants to live healthily in this world has to deal with uh, the temptations, and it's difficult, and yeah. we all fall sometimes. Yeah. Well done and well said. <laughs> and I'm uh, really pleased that you would uh, let me hear your confession. And <laughs> while we while we uh, talked here, I've been working with your with the um, wow. the portrait. So mm -hmm. would you like to see it? I would. Yeah. Right. Let's Please. see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, like the. You will see it here, right there. Here you are. Wow. There you are. Wow, that's incredible. <laughs> Thanks. Wow. That's. It is a, that that is an uh, an expression of um, relief. That's a relief, it? an honest look. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what you. Yeah. What you get when you <laughs> when you unburden yourself and you tell what's <laughs> really happening inside you right yeah but it's yeah thanks <clears throat> thank you so much for uh, for taking uh, part and sharing and um i wish you the best with the uh, with the uh, with your health coaching and do you want to guide anyone to towards your your uh, social media or website or anything uh, well, well, our social media is um, uh, paleoteket, uh, dot S -E, paleo T E uh, K E T. And, I can um, I can provide the the links below the video as well. Yeah, that that may be suitable. Yeah, and um, yeah, thank you. Thanks a lot uh, for the, the the opportunity and the confession. Sure, it's been fun. Beautiful thank you. <laughs> okay. Bye bye. Bye.